Hey, I hope you're having an amazing day today. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about why your dog's coat may fade, especially doodles. So let's get straight into this short video. If you're thinking about getting a poodle or a doodle mix of some sort, and you are especially into colors, oh, Jackson's in the background with a nice little plastic bottle. He loves playing with those. I digress. Definitely be aware of the fading gene. What is the fading gene, you might ask? Fading gene is a gene that is inherited by the poodle parent, and it is basically the reason why your dog's coat may fade over time. Changes are less likely to happen than in poodle parents and are also likely to be a bit more subtle. However, if your dog has a curly poodle coat, so let's just say if you have an Aussie Doodle, a Labradoodle, or a Golden Doodle, and they have, again, a curly coat, then they are more likely to have this fading gene. And on top of that too, there isn't really a reliable test to see or predict if your dog's coat will fade over time. Think about getting a doodle mix. Here are some common colors that might fade as they grow. And again, I'm gonna put some pictures up on the screen right now, but the first one is gonna be obviously black. When they're born, they might be really black. Their coat might be all covered in black, but as they grow old, that coat might turn to gray. Next up is red. Again, when they're naturally born, if they are naturally born red, then that red might turn into brown. Moreover, if they are brown, that might even turn into a light beige, a beige, or almost a cream. And then again, if you have a white doodle, odds are they won't fade because you can't really fade white. Generally, you start to see the fade up to one year or even two years. So again, don't be surprised if your dog does fade. It's just a natural thing that just happens because of that poodle gene. Hi, Jackson. Jackson, what are you doing up here, man? You can't be up here. So for example, Jackson, I don't know if you guys, if he's in frame, I think he's in frame, but Jackson's, he's obviously black around the eyes. Um, it's starting to turn, he has some gray hairs. He has some gray um, hairs around his eyes. So don't be too surprised if you have a black dog and it turns gray, but I think that's actually really cool. That, that gray little color, gray silver color. But yeah, guys, that concludes today's video. Let me know down below if you have an Aussie Doodle or any type of doodle mix, what color did they turn into? Were you surprised? Were you not? I definitely would love to hear your thoughts down below. As a reminder, please hit that like button as it really helps on the YouTube algorithm. And if you're new here, welcome. Please hit the subscribe button too as it really means a lot to Jackson and me. Again, he's still playing with a little plastic bottle. It's a little side tip. If you have a plastic bottle, great toys, great chew toys. Obviously not too long because plastic can be bad for in the stomach, but just play around for a little bit. Definitely recommend. <laughs> If you aren't part of our Osteodol Lovers slash Owners Facebook group, the link is in the description. All I ask is just no promoting or selling of puppies. I just want this to be a place to share tips, advice, experiences, and ultimately the joy of Aussie Doodles. Tell your dogs you love them, Jackson, I love you. Thank you for watching and have an amazing day.